I taught a German how to cook and eat black soup. Let me show you. First thing yeah. is to start with um, boiling this bitter leaf. But just before we boil, I'm going to get the leaves out of the stem like this. This goes into my pot. I'll be adding some water. And what we are trying to do is actually to get the bitter taste out of the bitter leaves. Turn that on. So we'll bring that to a boil. The next thing we are going to do now is to rinse out these other vegetables. I'm going to rinse them and uh, blend. And before I finish blending them, this should be ready. Um, now, this is um, African basil. Yeah. This one we call scent leaves. It's one very medicinal one too. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Um, used for various treatments as well. It's not bitter. Mm -hmm. If you eat basil, yeah. that's the same okay, thing you feel. Okay, then I can try a bit more if it's not bitter. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. That just, good, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, just like basil. Mm -hmm. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bitter, so <laughs> yeah. why not? <laughs> so we're going to do this together. Mm -hmm. So pluck the leaves. Okay, yeah. I didn't want you to touch that bitter leaf, that's why I did okay, that. Yeah. So you pluck the leaves and put it in the bowl. Okay, so I'll open cleaning. Them, yeah. So here we are, we have all our vegetables in the bowl. Yeah. So I have my Uziza leaves and scent leaves here and the bitter leaf is boiling there. Just like we treat all our vegetables, we have to wash them because these things um, they grow outside, dust. Sometimes you buy from the market, handling and all that, so you need to rinse properly and we rinse with salt. This one is done. Um, it's time for me to bring in my bitter leaf for rinsing. Now the purpose of rinsing that one is to get that bitter taste out. So you see me squeeze it more than, I, I, I didn't squeeze this one, so I just rinsed this one. So the bitter leaf is going to be squeezed, like properly squeezed. Now that we have this ready, I am just going to start blending all my vegetables. Here I have uziza and scent leaves, yellow habanero pepper and um, onions. Add about two cups of water. Mm -hmm. This soup doesn't need to be very thick, it's okay. on the light side. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now blend. Okay. You just need to puree it and it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to put it inside the pot now to start cooking. But just before I put it in the pot to start cooking, we have to boil our snails. A tablespoon of onions, seasoning, salt. This is just to season the snails mm -hmm. so that when you bite into it or chew on it, it's tasty to the inside. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to add about two cups of water make sure all that snail is in the seasoned water so i'll cover that to cook so the next thing i'm going to do now is to rinse my fish the dried fish okay so do you want to have a taste of the dried fish <laughs> yeah of course uh, all right i know it a bit okay, <laughs> okay. So but it's of course this. not very common to eat it like that now or mm -hmm. yeah. you can you can mm -hmm. use it to soak gary okay mm -hmm. what do you think mm -hmm. nice yeah <laughs> i've tried it before so okay yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so fish is ready. I'll go add it to the pot now. And something else that will go is my crayfish. Okay. Mm -hmm. I told you we generally call it crayfish, but yeah. it's actually dried prawns. Mm -hmm. You want to have a taste too? Yes, I want to have a taste of everything. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> So what happens if one mixes up the different steps? For example, I don't know, the crayfish first before the snails or whatever, you know? Will that's it really a, have a big effect? That's the good thing about yeah. Nigerian yeah. soup. Not so much of an effect. Okay. Because crayfish goes in first, yeah. snail goes in first. Yeah. Just make sure everything is cooked properly. Okay. Like especially the meat, the protein, the snail, yeah. whatever you are using cook it properly. If you want to put the crayfish first, yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah, so but the most important thing is first, make sure the meat is cooked properly. Okay. So it, it's about textures for us. Everything has to follow like, um, how do I put it? 
what's tougher to cook. Okay. So what's tougher to cook goes in first when we um, are making our soups. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So if the meat is tougher, definitely of course. meat um, goes in first. So for crayfish and fish, there's actually no difference in their texture that much. Mm -hmm. So they are both seafood and then when it's dried, it's already cooked. Uh -huh. Somehow the dried fish is cooked a bit so you can put all of them to start cooking at the same time so you can see that the time difference before between the fish and the crayfish going in now is not different okay. at all yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we cook based on the textures what should be uh, what takes more time to cook mm -hmm. goes in first okay yeah. i don't know if i make sense yeah makes sense yeah of course right. yeah. so that's my crayfish and the crayfish goes in the next thing I'm going to do now is add the mm. base of palm oil. Mm -hmm. I call it the base just for you to understand mm -hmm. that this is called banga. Mm -hmm. It's the extract from palm nuts. So if you don't have banga, you can just use palm oil. All right, this is good. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to pour the vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's just a very straight soup. Can you remember all we have here? So you said what? So can you remember all we have here? Oh yeah, almost, almost. <laughs> almost. All right, remember. So we have of course the, the pepper. We have the pepper, the mm -hmm. spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then we have had the different leaves. Can you name any one of them? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay. So um, how did you name the leaves? No, you're supposed to remember the ones you ate at least. What was the name of the leaf? They are all oh. English names except yeah. one. Except one? Mm -hmm. um, there was one with O, O, Z, O. Can you imagine? He actually remembers the, the traditional Ozu, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uziza. Uziza, yeah. yeah. This, you see? I'm more into tradition, yeah. Uziza. So yeah. why did you forget bitter leaves? Maybe because that name is too common, you know? Too common. <laughs> you forgot bitter leaves and you remembered Uziza. I always like it to remember the difficult things. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. we've got bitter leaves, leaves. in here, yeah. scent leaves and Uziza. Uziza. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Uziza leaves. My seasoning and I'm going to salt it and our blended crayfish. So I'm going to cover it to cook and check it in the next 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Or oh, 10, no, 10 minutes will come so for us. 10. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 10 minutes we'll check it if it's uh, not, uh, it's supposed to be a light soup though, so but at least it should have some body. So, if it's not that um, thick yet, mm -hmm. we would allow it cook some okay. more. Mm -hmm. What we are looking for is for some of that oil to come to the top. Mm -hmm. So, that's how you know that it's ready, ready. I'm going to add some ogiri to this soup and uh, Let's make Neil's... <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, is that strong? <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah. but trust me, yeah. the taste in soup is nothing like the smell. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's very, it gives it that umami. Okay. This is the umami taste. Yeah, I yeah. trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper soup spice. A bit of that to the black soup. If you come, you see that the oil is beginning to come to the top. Wow. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's almost ready, but it's not okay. ready yet. I know you've been waiting. <laughs> Ooh, it's time for the tasting. Wow. Okay. You see? Once you just start doing that, pop, 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 pop. Looks good. And you have the oil by the side. You know it's ah, okay. ready. So then ready. it's ready, yeah? Yeah, like, so. Okay. You like it? Yeah, you like how looks it good. looks? Yeah, yeah, okay. looks good. Yeah. So time to do some okay, tasting. Yeah. Let's see. What Exciting if it's too spicy for me. <laughs> no, I didn't add so much pepper. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. What, what do you cool. think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So many different tastes. <laughs> Even the bitter leaves. <laughs> I, I did not forget them. Mm -hmm. I taste them a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. So many different aromas. The mm. aroma is great. I like it. Wow. This is good. Very good. Nigerians have made you proud again. <laughs> well done. <laughs> this is this is nice. This is really, really nice. Yeah. I feel like giving it to you again now okay. that I have tasted and I am 
feeling really, you know, <laughs> I did a good job. Okay. <laughs> so it's ah, very good exciting. Game. Okay. Like, Let this me is, try this it. This is very mm. good. Like very, very good. <clears throat> very good. That's nice. Like extremely nice. <laughs> this is oh. good. So, but it's just good. It's just good. This tastes fantastic. Nigeria, I made you proud again. <laughs> time for the swallow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time for our semo. Niels, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to add the semolina into the pots. You've ever seen this done before? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I get to the consistency I'm looking for and continue to stir. Uh -huh. So there's no lump, stir, 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 it thickens. I could sprinkle a little bit of water if I want, allow it to cook through. And sometimes, just from stirring it, it's already cooked through. Okay. Yeah, so it depends on what you want. All right, guys, so this semo is ready, and my soup is ready. Yeah, that looks good. So, food done done, it's time to eat. But first, we'll take those pictures. So, but just before we go take the pictures, Niels have to say, food done done. Oh, yeah, Niels, say that. <laughs> food done done. Food done done. Food done done. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go and eat. All right, it's time to eat. Nail has washed his hands. Indeed. You I can't have, wait. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's dig in. Okay. Are you using your two hands? Yes. So. One hand. Yeah. <laughs> You're supporting. Yes, you have to learn how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and like this. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Uh, use the tips instead of the whole hand. Okay. Just use the tip then, okay. and mm -hmm. I'll just go in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So good, wow. Okay. Wait, Fantastic. Really perfect. Like, this is good. This, I'm so yeah. proud right mm. now. <laughs> you have every reason to be. <laughs> I'm so proud. This, this is so good. Thank you very much for having me in your show. You're very welcome. And for this amazing dish. Okay, it's so delicious. This is delicious. Yeah. You're actually blushing all over. I'm a little bit sad that soon I might have to fly back to Germany. I wish I could stay here. You're blushing all over. <laughs> this is good. Wow, no. so good. Mm -hmm. You want to try the snails? Yeah. Tell me what you think. Okay, let me try. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Have you tasted snails this good? No, not yet. <laughs> this is good. I mean, in Germany, it's not very common that we eat it, of course, yeah. yeah. So, as you all already know, Coca Cola pairs well with. Food. <laughs> if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.